Virginia is for lovers. Modified 150 is green and racing from Richmond. Ronnie Silk from the pole position. Sails off into turn one on the bottom lane of the racetrack, and he'll bring Austin Beers right along with him as they race off the back straightaway for the first time here in the Richmond Breakaway event for the Wheel and Modified Tour. Moving quickly into that third spot, it is Jake Johnson. Inside lane was the advantage of the first five cars, and Tommy Catalano running in their pack of cars there. Here's a battle for the race lead. Justin Bonsignor goes out in front here, 11 laps into tonight's event. Bonsignor to the point for the first time. We talked about in the open how, you know, all season long, it was a 51 of Justin Bonsignor and the 16 of Ronnie Silk who were battling first, second, the whole nine uh, throughout the entire season. Ron Silk goes out and wins the race at New Smyrna, and it really, I think, put everybody else back on their heels saying, you know, we worked all winter long to try to see if we could find an answer for Ronnie Silk, and at New Smyrna, nobody could, but they've had about two months to prepare for today's race. They certainly have, and Phil Moran knows how to, oh, trouble now! Darting out of line, he tags the wall. It is car number 64, Austin Beers. Right front wheel is peeled back on the race car. S certainly some contact there. We're going to look at it now coming down the back straightaway. Watch Johnson dart to the inside. And boy, you know, that is hard to tell whether or not there was contact or not on that angle. Doug Kobe, who looked strong in that first segment, will be third. Keep an eye on him in that bottom lane as that has proven to be a strong start. A little bit deeper in the pack. One car is out of shape. Melissa Fifield slow to the bottom on the restart. They stacked up behind her. Everybody pointed in the right direction. We stay under the green flag. Carson Lofton has moved down underneath Ronnie Silk. Red car to the right of your scene, back up front. Here comes Doug Colby. He puts the bolt with number seven, New York, to the front of the class. Lead change, number three in the competition here. Up front, Justin Bonsignor hot in the tire tracks of Doug Colby. They go one, two. A little bit of distance behind them to third, Ron Silk. But Justin Bonsignor is not content to ride in the second spot. He'll drive right to the bottom of the turn and take over the race lead one more time as they charge down the back stretch. Refuses to be left out of this big dance. He is currently running to the inside. Catalano has broken away into the fourth spot now, Joe, as they come off the turn. Outside lane looks racy. Meanwhile, we look a little further back at the bottom of the top 10. Ryan Newman is back in the 10th position or just out of the top 10. And Carson Lofton is in the 11th position currently as we speak. Ronnie Silk closing up that gap again. Brother on the heels in the 56. And coming into the picture now, the three of Jake Johnson. Up front, the picture remains the same. It's painted between Ron Silk and Justin Bonsignor, crossing him up. Off turn two, Bonsignor could not do it. He pushes Silk into turn three. While that's been going on at the front of the field, Kobe is starting to close up the gap. As they come off the turn, it's still Silk. He continues at the start-finish line to pull away. But Doug Kobe is coming back to life with car number seven, New York. Now, Kobe's run a very quiet strategy today. He went up there, he led a couple of laps, and he settled back into third. He's been content to ride. I'm curious to see if Doug Kobe, as we watch Justin Bonsignor go back up to the race lead, is holding his cards here a little bit, biding his time, maintaining track position, and saving his equipment for the final dash to the finish. For the fourth time here today, and the caution is for debris, and I think we are watching that battle with a saw three that. car yes. of... Uh, there it is. Jake Johnson, and you saw on the right front that a piece of debris, either he was hit by it, or it just came off the race car as a green flag comes out with 19 laps to go. Three wide, they go to the bottom of turn number one. The new leader emerges, Ryan Newman, with a bold move to the inside. Meanwhile, Ronnie Silk pulls back in front. Newman is stuck on the bottom. Here comes Doug Colby in the seven New York. Bonsignor goes from the lead back to fourth, maybe fifth, but Ron Silk away with it, 18 to go. As they come across the line, the battle is on for second. Ryan Newman in the 77, working to the bottom lane of the racetrack. Here comes the outside of Doug Colby and Trevor Catalano working to the top side as well. Catalano makes his magic there. Look a little further back to the right of your screen. Here comes Jake Johnson down low to the inside. Good move, shuffled back to the fourth position. Meanwhile, the 56 machine of Catalano has moved back into third. Now Bontenure right to the back bumper of Doug Kobe, pulls alongside into turn one, challenging for the runner-up spot. Here comes Bonsignor, tries to make the move, and he does. Meanwhile, down the back straightaway, here comes Catalano, trying to reel in on the back bumper of Kobe. Silk is still the leader, 
four cars moving to the inside. Here comes Catalano, we've got a problem. It's Eric Goodale collected along with Tyler Ripkema in the number 32. Underneath, Craig Lutz directly ahead. He got a little bit loose and it was helped from behind. The 22 of Tyler Ripkema, uh, or the 22 of Kyle Bonsignor into Tyler Ripkema, and that sent him sideways and into the 58 and just uh, Eric Goodale. Nine laps to go in the Wheel and Modified Tour. They come rumbling off turn number four. Snook with a slight advantage. Here comes Doug Kobe. Kobe takes a look at the bottom. Monsignor goes up the hill. Here comes Ryan Newman. Newman now settles into third. Catalano three wide. Johnson to the bottom. Trevor Catalano gets sideways. They stack up behind. The caution flag comes out. Nobody went around spinning, but the caution flag came out as smoke billowing off those race cars midway down the back straightaway. Newman is there in that third row on the inside. Blue number 77. They wobble just a bit. Three wide, almost four wide. They come into turn number one. Bonsignor has it by inches. Joe, off the turn. It is still silk, but for how long? Outside lane, Justin Bonsignor trying to hold off the challenge for Ron Silk in the bottom. Bonsignor out in front, but Silk to the inside lane draws even. They'll come to the line. Two laps to go with Trevor Catalano waiting in the third spot, the rookie contender. Just his second start in the mix. He's doing a great job sitting there in third. Colby gets shuffled back. Here comes Bonsignor. Tries to make the slingshot to the inside. Bonsignor side by side with Ron Silk. They come off the turn down to the line. Bonsignor working his magic at the stripe. One lap to go. This isn't over yet. It's Justin Bonsignor muscling his way to the bottom in turn two. Silk is right there as they come off turn number two. They come together on the back straightaway. Silk battling to the outside. Bonsignor to the bottom. They'll come to the checkered flag this time. Out in front. Bonsignor noses out in front. But here comes Silk to the outside, and Bonsignor will win it. Bonsignor will win it. The margin of victory was so close, it's almost unbelievable.